don't know if you noticed while working in the woods, they've been doing a bunch of um, trying to take out chicken trees, the Chinese tallow. Yeah. And I think privet, I'm not sure. They're yes, still uh, privet and uh, also um, China berry too. China berry, makes sense. And then, uh, so Tulane was given the property at some point, I think probably in the late 40s. And then they gifted most of the property to the parish and then the parish just recently set that up as a permanent easement. Uh, I mean, I mean, ours, I mean, the Woodlands, where you were, Woodlands. <clears throat> bought it. They bought it. Woodland bought it mm -hmm. and then it set it up as a permanent easement, right? Conservation easement, yeah. Conservation easement. And so this is an additional like 600 or so acres. And it's uh, filled with, did you guys see any of the World War II bunkers yeah. over the property yeah. there? So at one point, Tulane had a whole active campus out here, like science campus. They had a primate research lab. Um, a big bird collection, a mammal collection. It was, um, they had a city morgue that was here too at some point. Uh, they had a Japanese university and Tulane had come together to do like um, some kind of neurological studies. And over time, like people, I don't know, administration changed. They stopped hiring curators. Um, it was hard to maintain these buildings because they're not easy to climate control. But if you have dead fish in jars, the dead fish in jars don't care. It's not <laughs> so, I mean, once they're fixed and once they're in alcohol, like can stay that way for hundreds of years. And as long as it's kind of relatively stable, it's not way too hot or way too cold, most of the materials are pretty well. Um, so it even survived Katrina. Wow. So Katrina, I think, is like, my understanding is kind of the last thing that kind of killed the science campus out here. So having said that, Delane is putting some funding into keeping the buildings going for the fish collection, but we're the only active little science collection that's still out here. I mean, they occasionally people will come out and do stuff with the property like mesocom mesocosm studies and there's some laboratory work going on in one of the buildings. Um, first time ever there's an art show in one of the buildings which I'll take you guys to go see in a minute um, but pretty unique facility um, it's the world's largest preserved fish collection we have more dead fish in jars than the Smithsonian <laughs> and that's wow. fairly recent we because we got something like three million whoa from a university in Louisiana in Monroe that had to annex their collection so they wouldn't be trashed uh, because wow. they had to make room for their new field um, or a football stadium or whatever it was. <laughs> so yeah, there's Google that. There's a whole lot of controversy that happened as part of that. But, so it's pretty unique. It was started um, prior. There was a curator named Royal Suckus, which we'll talk about in a little bit. He came in and he really expanded the collection. There was a collection beforehand, but he really exploded the collection. He's really he's really interested in fishes in the south. What when was that? What year was that? Roughly sixties. Nineteen sixties. Okay. Yeah, it's on the it's on the sign inside. I think it's nineteen sixty four, but we'll have to check. And so he collected lots and lots and lots of fishes and described lots and lots of fishes for the southeast. So the southeast river drainages, those are like a, um, a hot spot for freshwater fish diversity in streams and freshwater moving bodies of water. So there's an awful lot of different great little darters and um, minnows and all kinds of things that live in those, those habitats. And it's pretty cool. Um, because of that, we have records since the 60s of habitats that are no longer there, too. So that's one of the reasons why maintaining a collection like this is really relevant still, among other reasons, of course. But So let's go in. I'll have you guys all sign in, too. Sweet. Um, it's nice just to sign in so that it helps to prove to Tulane that this is still totally. something people want to come see.